<laughs> Hello, welcome back to Cooking with Chrissy, or should I say Cooking with Chaos. Episode still don't know because I am completely lost. That rhymed really, I don't know why that rhymed. But anyway, um, if you are not already part of the Chrissy fam, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the like button in the face like my favorite YouTuber says. And that really is all for the intro today. I'm trying to keep y'all updated. I'm trying to post more videos because I've had a fall break off. So, you know, because you all should already know that from the last video. But anyway, um, I think that's it, everything. So, today we are going to be making chicken parmesan with noodles. Now, I know that sounds weird, but trust me, it's the best thing you'll ever eat. It's like one of my favorite meals that me and my mom cook. So, um to try to start this off because she needs to do something and <laughs> I'm trying to be really quick with this get a pot of boiling water or get a pot and put it on the stove about put it on high and um, we're cooking corn you can choose whatever vegetables you want but we're cooking corn today um, now I do recommend that if you cook corn on the cob the sweet, fresh, homegrown corn is the best kind that you can make because it's sweet and it's fresh and it's, trust me, it's just delicious. So, we have to, well, how did you say that at the Walmart? Shear the corn? Sh no, shuff the kernel. It's already shucked. You got to get the silks out. Get the silks off the kernel. That's what she said. So. You're gonna, do you see these little bitty, these thingies right here? You just basically got to pull that off. That's what you got to do. No, it's easier with a brush. With a what? A brush. A brush? Use the brush. What brush? Did it come with a brush? No, honey. <laughs> Behind the sink. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> you, said, you said behind the sink. Oh, a brush. This brush, this brush has not been used. This is what this is for. You use a brush, you can take a brush and you can, that, that makes so much more sense. So we're just gonna, oh, that's actually quite easy. So I'm not gonna stand here and waste y'all's time. So I'm gonna pause this real quick and we'll be back when we got all this shut. Okay, so um, we didn't do all of those. We done three just because we, most of the time, we break them in half this time, we didn't. Um, but there's only three of us and we, all of us, don't eat as much as we used to. So we just, you know, <laughs> have one each. Um, so we put that in the pan before it starts boiling and we put a little salt in there so that way it gets it to boiling faster. Corn. You normally want to be the first thing to start um, before you start cooking anything else because it's the longest. It takes like 45 minutes just to get it, you know, cooked. And we are hungry. So, normally when we cook chicken parmesan, we do it at home. We like shred up the chicken and we do like, you know, the sauce and everything and the noodles and all the fun stuff. But the only reason we done that is because we did not have these right here. They stopped putting these in the store for a very, very, very long time. And this is my absolute favorite meal of all time besides spaghetti. Um, and they stopped selling these in the store, which is why we had to make it on our own. But this is a way more fast and efficient way to make chicken parmesan. It's like the lazy boy way of doing it. It's not really a lazy boy way, but it's faster. So these are called Encore, and they're six breaded, breaded chicken parmesan patties with tomato sauce. So that's basically, it, it, it says it. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get a pan out, and we're going to put some water in it and put it on the stove so that way we can get that ready for our noodles because we do have to have the noodles. It doesn't come with that. So... Is this one? Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna get a pan about yay big like this. That was me. You're gonna fill up 
uh, almost to the top. And you can just sit it on your back burner back here and turn it on high or almost high. Um, I would show y'all that. I know this is not really a good angle, but I'm going to just tell you there's a small space where my Chromebook is sitting. So this is probably the best you're going to get. And that you don't really need to see because it's cooking. So you just need to know how to do it. <laughs> So, um, I may make another video about how we make our chicken parmesan at home. There's really no new recipe. It's kind of like the same thing. The only difference is you're shredding up your own chicken. But, um, yeah. Real so, chicken. What? Real chicken. Yeah, real chicken. Because this isn't real chicken. So, uh, just put a little bit of salt in that. Get, get it going. Sorry, I just went blank for a second, y'all. It is thunder outside. And I don't like thunderstorms. Okay, hold on. I'm going to fix y'all just a bit. I don't think that fixed it any, but we'll go with it. <laughs> so if my head cuts off, I'm sorry. So, now, for this recipe, I am learning with y'all. I have seen her do it before, but I'm still not exactly sure. I is a little kid. I used to stand in the kitchen. And I still do it and watch her cook all the time. I know it may seem annoying, but I was actually just observing what she was doing. So that way later in life, I know how to do it. So this, I'm still not particularly sure on how to do it. So, <laughs> Mom. Yes? This is the part where I need you. <laughs> Why? Because I'm not exactly for sure what you do. Okay, take it out of the box. Take it out of the box. That's the first step. Take it out of the box. Oh goodness, yeah, okay. You would think that would be an easy step, right? Hold on, y'all, I'm sorry my elbow is in your face. Okay, there we go. So you're gonna take it out of the box, and it's gonna look a little something like this. It is frozen, it does need to go in the freezer. Okay, now we're ready. Read the back of the box. Read the back of the box. Oh, okay. So apparently, I don't need to follow by her instructions. I can follow by the back of the box because apparently that's the show. Oh, look at that. There's the, <laughs> There's the instruction. <laughs> She's shaking her head so much at me right now. You can do it in the microwave. Wouldn't that just be easier if you do it in the microwave? Don't yeah, you? Yeah, that's what I normally do. Normally do. Okay. So there is an option that you can do it in the oven if you choose to take the longer way around it. Um, you can, but we always do it in the microwave just because it's, um, well, it's simpler that way. So, remove heat safe tray from carton. What? It says remove heat safe tray from carton. Oh, remove it from this. Okay, that's done. Uh, let's see. Place the heat safe tray on a microwave safe plate. Peel corner to vent. Okay, so. I don't put it on a plate. I just set it in there. Okay. So, depending on your microwave, she says she doesn't sit hers on a plate. But, I mean, depending on how your microwave is, you might want to set it on a plate. I don't know. And then you peel one corner. Put it on 100% power for eight. Okay. So you're just going to vent it. What? Instead of doing that. Oh, I done ripped it. That doesn't matter. There we go. I'm sorry for the ear rain. <laughs> <laughs> um, she just she just took a knife and just stabbed the top of it, kind of like how you would a TV dinner. So you stick this in the microwave for eight minutes. Yeah, I forgot ours doesn't fill up the half for some reason. Huh? You can't just click the eight on the micro on our microwave and it go eight minutes. Oh. It it won't allow it. I don't think so. Okay. So now we're just gonna let that cook. And then carefully peel back film, separate any portions that are still frozen. Two to two. Okay. Yeah, so. what I do is flip the bubble after eight minutes. I take the film off. Halfway? Yeah. Enough where you can flip them over. Them over. Okay. 
So after eight minutes, she takes them out and she flips them over and then she puts it back in the microwave for four to five minutes. And then what? Well, we'll get there when we get there. And you're ready. Really? I thought we had to put it in like a pan or something. Oh wow, that's the quickest that's the quickest video ever. Okay, so after you flip it and you put it in there for another four to five minutes, once your corn is done, you are ready to eat. After you get your noodles done, and um, we normally have extra salt. Do we pour this in like a pan and heat it up? Yeah, with garlic and fat and seasoning and salt and pepper. Okay. <laughs> um so we also like to use extra sauce because my dad, he, he loves sauce and we love sauce. It's, it's great. So we use ragu, old world style traditional made with olive oil. Um, we used to use hunts, but they changed the recipe. Like everything that we start to love, they either A, take out of the store or B, change the recipe. I'm just like, um, I know this is going to be a controversial one. Um, Butter, uh, what was it called? Country Croc. Country Croc. They changed the recipe in it, and people all over the world stopped buying it because they changed it, and then they finally changed it back. That used to be our favorite butter, and then we had to stop eating it for so long because they changed it. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I thought money went in my coffee, but so, it didn't. We just started using ragu personally, even from the original recipe of Hunts, I choose ragu. Um, I don't know why, it's just my favorite. But, like another example is the uh, the Welch's drink that I was telling you about. There was this one Welch's drink um, called Cherry Burst, and it was one of their most favorited drinks by everybody. And they have completely taken it off the shelves. It was my favorite drink of all time. I had like two or three glasses of that stuff every day. And they took it off the shelf. Isn't that lovely? So, now we need to get a pan. Is this pan enough? We're not going to use all of them. Yeah, it's outside. Oh. Well, but what if you need another spaghetti? I thought we never have sauce two weeks, two nights, two in a week's time. I'll get it out in a minute. <laughs> so we need a bigger fan then. So, like this one? I'll make sure you get a lid for that because. Okay. So. Apparently, for her, we never use these, use uh, the sauce in no, two weeks time, because that's how she is, so. You okay over there? Can you see that? Well, I didn't need a man to open my uh, jar. Let me let in on a little secret. If you can't get it open, hold the jar, take your hand, and hit the bottom. I thought you were going to hit that. No, that was and it will come off. Really? Did you know if you etch the 57 of a ketchup bottle, the ketchup will come out? You didn't know that? To. It's supposed to. What was that called? What was what called? The juice. Uh, well, just cherry burst. Y'all, this is going to look weird, but... I love it. I swear I love it. What did you say to put in it? Look. Look. Are you kidding me? No, this is no, wait, that's the same thing. Right. Yeah, it is. That's what they called it. Yeah, it was. That's the one that they don't sell no more. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. She found what I was looking for on Walmart.com. But Walmart never did carry it, though, did they? 
Walmart did carry it at one point. Oh, I thought it only came from the... Well, maybe actually that might not be the one. The dollar store or the family dollar is what I thought it came from. Well, you can buy it there, but I think at one point Walmart did sell it. Not sponsored, by the way. Um, no, that's the one. That's it? No, there it is. There it is. No, it's called Cherry. It's called Welch's Cherry Burst Juice Cocktail. And no, it is not alcoholic. It is a juice. They just call it a cocktail. What did you say I was supposed to put in this? Garlic, Garlic Italian seasoning, and salt, 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 pepper. Okay. So, garlic and Italian seasoning. You don't need much garlic. We always put garlic in everything. Hey, Mom, can you do me a favor real quick while I'm doing this? Yeah. Mom. Jane, please, it's out of stock. Excuse my French. What? <laughs> it's in out of stock, guys. It's it's out of stock. Can you do me a favor and can you break the noodles and put them in there, please? Where is the Italian? Just would you get it for me, please? I couldn't get it. I don't eat it. But it's a part. You're a lot of help. I didn't want to have to get the steps to out. These people don't need to know how short I am. Wow, hell, I'm shorter than you. Mom! <laughs> Language! We have kids! Well, I hate fire shake of darns. <laughs> that corn smells so good. Oh, that was... almost fell. <laughs> okay, so garlic and Italian seasoning. You don't need much Italian seasoning either because that stuff is strong. That's good. Yeah. And you said salt and pepper. Ugh. Salt. And pepper. Now when you turn that on, turn yes, it on I about, about medium. Well, I didn't know that part. You want to put a lead. Did I mention that that corn smells so good? Yes, you did. It really does, though. It's like the best smell of the whole. Okay, how am I going to find the right lid for this? Oh, that hurt. Awesome. <laughs> it's close enough. It'll work. So I always put a lid over your sauce because when it pops, it's going to go everywhere. Now, how, you said put it on medium. Yeah. So put it on medium. You don't have to warm it up. That's uh, oh, <laughs> that's optional. Um, but it's better when it's warm. You know. I don't think I want it cold. Why not? No. Um. Now she did just put the noodles in the water after they were use it through the can. Um. After they boiled, we normally break ours in half. But you don't have to. It just makes them easier to eat. Get something like this and keep stirring them so they don't stick. Because you don't want them to stick. So I don't need this anymore, though. What? No. Well, that corn takes 45 minutes to cook. What amount? A good 30. Well, okay, but this is about to be done. What? And the noodles are close, and the sauce isn't heated up, so we should probably should have waited a little while. It's what? Your sauce is hot. Yeah. So you said pull this out. You just flip it over, but you don't have to turn it back on right now. Okay. So we're gonna. Tear it from the other side about halfway. Now I would advise that it is very hot, so please be careful. Y'all, be careful. You can just take a fork and you're just gonna flip them over. That's all you gotta do. They're already drenched in sauce. 
Oh, they smell so good. I'm so glad they brought these back. Did you did did you find it? Are they selling it online? I told you it said sold out. Oh, that seems just about right. And what she's doing over there, y'all, is she has a salad she's making up. She wanted salad. Ooh, I just got that everywhere. There. Do we want another veggie one? Uh, I mean, we can. That's up to you. So we're not going to start that. Um, we're just going to leave that in there for a couple of minutes because we don't want it. to cook too fast, so. Oh, do you want another vegetable? Well, I mean, we don't have to, but you're cooking corn, so I don't know, we don't have to. Well, you're gonna have a salad. But I mean, that's up to you. If you want another one, we can. So. I like a lot of food as a companion. Yeah. When she cooks a meal, it has to be all like four course. Like, it has to be more than four course sometimes. We don't even have enough room on our plates. And at Thanksgiving, it's even worse. <laughs> but, I mean, food is food. You know, I used to not eat that much. I still eat like a bird as it is. But when I was little, I would take like two or three bites of something and then I'd be done with it. And nowadays, I'll eat a whole burger and within five minutes and still be hungry so i progressed a lot i've actually learned how to eat vegetables and eat healthy now am i right yes well you eat vegetables when you were little no i'm talking about the stuff that i would eat like peppers and onions oh yeah i still don't eat oh cucumbers. let me tell you what you did one time i still don't like cucumbers though i hate cucumbers and radishes but i love tomatoes and onions and she took a garden onion, a green onion, <laughs> this big round. I've got it on video. And we handed it to her, and she sat there and took a big old bite out of it. And about eat the whole thing by itself. I was a baby too. Like I could, I could sit up on my own. I was old enough to where I could sit up on my own and kind of talk, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. But the, the strange thing is, when I started to grow up, I hated onions unless they were fried. Isn't that kind of weird? And now I'm starting to lock them again. So, I don't know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but, um, I'm not going to keep y'all bored or keep talking to you or whatever. I'm not going to be like some of the YouTubers out there who just constantly talk and talk and talk because I can tell you that does get annoying. So, I'm going to pause and we will be back when the majority of this is ready to eat. Okay, so it's not done, but my mother wants to show y'all how to check corn to see if it's done. If the knife goes in it fairly smoothly, then it's done. It's still just a little Maybe it's just where I'm kind of scarred to stick in there. <laughs> so it's kind of like check how you check a potato. Yeah, kind of. Um, shoot, I keep going blank, y'all. I, I swear, I keep going blank. Um, keep stirring your noodles fairly often. That way they don't stick together. Because you don't want them sticking together. And Are we in Britain now? Yeah, we're in Britain. <laughs> you should know me by now. I randomly change my accents just because I want to. Dally-o, Dally. Dally-o. Top of the morning to you. She's making rolls over here. Hey, 
So, we again, um, we will take a short break and we'll be back when this is almost done. Okay, y'all, so there's not really much to show. It's almost done. Um, we probably need to put a little more water in these noodles. Um, but pretty much that's it. That's how you cook it. I know that was a really short video, but um, go ahead and get that like button and subscribe button in the face like my favorite YouTuber says. If you aren't part of the Chrissy fam, what are you doing? Just go ahead and hit it in the face. Um, I'm sorry I seem a little bit nervous right now. We just had a tornado warning and we're supposed to have one that's edging us around 7 o'clock so that's why I'm ending this so early. Um, Y'all don't worry about me. I will be fine. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be that bad of a thing but um, I hope y'all have a good time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can use it to your best use to have a good meal to stick with so i will see you all in my next video love you bye be safe y'all